Hello everyone and welcome back to another Christmas card video. Today I'm using the Naughty and Nice Elves stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to be doing a one layer scene card. These are kind of intimidating for me because they're um, you got to do a lot of masking and planning and um, you know everything has to be just right and so it doesn't leave really any margin for error so they they do kind of intimidate me but they do look really awesome and of course they mail super easy because they're one layer so I am stamping everything with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and I'm just this is a new stamp set so I'm stamping it a couple of times to get a nice uh, black outline and I'm going to bring in some Simon masking paper got this in a, one of my card kits one time and I just set it aside. I hadn't used it yet because I don't do a lot of masking. Uh, so this is my first time using this paper and um, I did have to really push on it to, to get the image to come out but you know that's okay. And it cut really well and uh, the liner peeled off uh, fairly easily so um, I think it's pretty good masking paper all in all. So just getting it lined up really good over my image and everything. Um, my antlers didn't get quite lined up. I had to peel those back up, but uh, you know, it peeled up, didn't tear. So this, this is, I think it's, you know, probably really good masking paper to use. And then I uh, did my little banner as well. And I did all this because I'm ink blending a background. Oh, and I also just freehand cut like a little snowy um, ground. And for my ink blended background, I'm using regular Distress inks and I'm using Chip Sapphire as my darkest, Blueprint Sketch, Salty Ocean, and Tumbled Glass. And I'm working from the bottom up. I wanted to make sure I had uh, lots of light area. I wanted it light around, the, around my image. Sorry about that. I'm getting an Amazon package today. <laughs> anyway, um, so I just keep working up and just using an extremely light hand because this is uh, stamped on Nina 80 pound solar white. Um, I ha usually, if I'm going to do ink blending with regular distress inks, I use Bristol because I get a better um, result. So I was just really careful to use a super light hand when I did all my blending. Okay, so then after that, I sprayed it with my Distress Sprayer, blotted that up, and, you know, got the, that bit of texture in there. And then I used my Copic Opaque White and my Arteza Water Brush and flicked on some more snow. And then I sprayed everything with the uh, Shimmer Spray. I really love this frost shimmer spray that I got. I keep it on my desk. I use it a ton. And it is it was not very expensive and it does such a really fine mist. It's a really great product. I just love the shimmer that it leaves behind. It's really awesome. So the big reveal, it turned out totally awesome. Um, now there's you can see there's some areas underneath the elf's arms that I did not cut out of my mask. And we're just going to fix that with Copic markers. I thought that would just be way too difficult to try and get in there and cut those little tiny areas out. And I'm just going to, like I said, fix it with Copic markers. I'm doing all the coloring with Copic markers. And I showed you my colored combinations um, before I started using each color group. Um, I did not record all these uh, markers down but um, there's lots of great combinations for greens and reds. But like I said, I do show them. And so you can stop the video and, and uh, just write, write them down if you like these color combinations. And I will link down below to um, the place where I buy my, my Copics. I, it's the cheapest place I have found. And they usually always have a coupon code in the banner of the, the website. Um, it changes every week, the coupon code does. And nine times out of ten, they do work on the, the Copics. So as I was coloring, for all the colors except for the red, I think I did light to dark 
and then dark to light. Now the red, I usually just do dark to light because reds just tend to bleed so easy and I'm a little bit heavy handed. So I'm very cautious when doing my reds. And also uh, I did something wrong here. I should have done his face first because I have all that dark red right underneath his chin and you can very easily kind of pull that color up in there. So I would recommend doing the face first and then um, doing the other colors around it. I was just so excited to do his little outfit <laughs> that I uh, that did the his red and green first and I should have done his face first. But anyway, uh, moving on to his reindeer. I'm not doing any kind of directional light source. I'm just kind of doing, you know, a ambient kind of light or you know, you just have some natural sh shadows and things and, and uh, putting in some shadows for some, you know, dimension and roundness and everything. So with that being said, um, super busy. Oh my goodness. Is everybody just like super busy right now? I, I have, I sat down and colored and worked on this card like four different days. You can see like four different sleeves and the very last <laughs> clip is even me and my robe as I was doing it early one morning trying to get it done and I'm just so behind on trying to get uh, cards up. I haven't even mailed my own cards because I don't have enough yet because I need like 35 and so just super busy and um, I've had this other big project to work on um, I think I had mentioned before that our neighborhood is doing a Christmas home wine tour. So basically it's just a get to know your neighbors and show off your Christmas decorations and stuff and have some wine and appetizers and go from house to house. And, and um, my friend is the head of the social committee. And uh, anyway, she wrote me into house number one. So we are house number one. So I was working really hard to get all my Christmas decorations done and looking really awesome. And then, you know, it's the cleaning process to get rid of all the pine needles and, and to just, you know, clean and make sure everything was, is pristine and looking good. So I got all that done, but also, uh, she wanted some custom wine glasses. So I said, okay, I can do this. I didn't, you know, this is the first year. I, I didn't really think that we would have that many people you know, to participate, you know, usually it takes a couple of years for everybody, you know, jumps on the bandwagon and wants to do these kind of things. So I thought, you know, maybe a dozen or so glasses. Uh, yeah, I'm doing three dozen glasses. And when she gave me the count the other day, I was like, holy crap. And I came up with a really cute design, but some of the words on it are really skinny and I put these little Christmas bells on it. It says Christmas cheer and I got little bells on each side and then HPLE 2018, which is just the initials for our neighborhood. Anyway, um, I did a test one and it turns out it looks really cute, but weeding these 36 little tiny stencils, um, I cut them with my Cricut. Cricut cut them just fine. It was awesome. But, yeah, weeding all of them was, whew. But I do have them all weeded, and I've got my transfer tape on them, and I cut them all apart and everything. So this afternoon, I'm going to start putting the stencils on the glasses, and then my goal is to get that, get them all on the, the glasses today, and I'm going to do all the etching tomorrow. That's my goal. We'll see how that works out. Probably kind of like this video that's been in the works for days. And yeah, I'm just now getting the editing and the voiceover uh, done. Whew. But anyway, I still have more more cards that I want to do. I want to do uh, background stamps and show you how that those can be quick and easy if you you know using background stamps and then you put like a, a chunky sentiment on the top of it that can be a quick and easy card so I want to do a few of those and then I want to do the telescope card which is really really similar to um, the shadow box card that I did for the Halloween um, but uh, it has a couple more layers to it the the telescope card does so um, 
I want to get that done. So those are my two goals for two more card videos. And then I want to start on tag videos. I love making tags. And so I really want to get started and get several tags done too. Because I don't know about you, but I've almost got all of my Christmas shopping done. I have um, basically one more uh, big present to get for my husband. And then I'm going to, uh, next week is going to be wrapping Christmas presents and making Christmas cookies is what next week is, is going to be. So I want to get to my tags and get my tags done. So that's my goal. I hope I can get there and get those done and give you some more inspiration for cards and tags because that's a lot of fun. Oh, actually there's going to be three more card videos because after I do, I do the backgrounds, uh, background stamps and then the tele the telescoping card. Then I want to do a video that's just totally devoted to the insides of cards because I've got all these card fronts now that I've done on all these videos and things, but um, all the insides are empty. So I want to do a video on just finishing out the insides of cards. I bought a lot of new stamps that, you know, I showed them in, in my haul videos. And so I have a lot of new stamps to use on the inside of the cards and we'll be using, you know, from the ephemera packs and some different things to uh, try and finish out the cards really cute as the outside is really cute and in a quick and easy and fast way to do it. So almost finished with this coloring. This coloring did take a while when you're doing, you know, something this detailed and stuff. It takes a bit. Um, I'm not, you know, an expert at Copic by no means. So it does take me a, probably a little bit longer. You know, I'm definitely no Kelly Latibola or <laughs> anything like that or Christina Warner for sure. And if you don't know those names, search them on YouTube. They are awesome card makers and colorists and everything. And I watch them all the time. I learn so much from them. And so their coloring is just, you know, fantastic. And they're super fast at it. But, and I'm also a little bit messy, so I have to have my colorless blender definitely handy. Okay, so here I am filling in those spots. Just uh, B00 and 000 is what I use to fill in those spots. And a little bit of the, uh, you know, white gaps around the deer and things. Um, I decided his little muzzle wasn't quite dark enough. <laughs> and I decided to make my banner gold. I I waited uh, to the end to color the banner because I kept debating, you know, what colors to, to make it. You know, do I want it to be a red or a green? Or, you know, do I want to do it in cool grays and make it look silver or what? And then I just decided that I could pull in gold, like, from the bells and stuff on the elf and on the reindeer and uh, make a gold banner and I'm really glad I did I think it looks super good and uh, and then I decided there was a little bit of a white line um, around the you know the banner because you know your masks never you know fit perfect so there's a little bit of a white line and I, so I took this uh, dark blue marker I don't remember what it was and went around it and I loved it after I did it because it kind of makes it pop up off the page. And so then I thought, well, everything is shimmery but my snow. I wanted my sh snow shimmery. So I put the little legs of the reindeer back down and then covered the top of that piece of paper and then sprayed the snow area. And then I sprayed a little bit on my glass media mat and then just painted it in those little triangle areas underneath his arms. So I got shimmer over the the whole thing and so then I said well I needed some dimension in my snow and BB20 is excellent for doing dimension in snow uh, it's good for using on snowman and stuff too so um, I, then I just took my colorless blender and blended it out and um, I thought that uh, that did took care of my snow if you've got a, a colored detailed colored image like this uh, elf and his reindeer then everything else doesn't have to be as detailed so I thought just that little bit on the snow was fine 
Okay, so now I have put it back into my stamp platform and I'm going to stamp on my sentiments. And I started with the, the Simon Says Intense Black Ink, but it just wasn't looking bold enough. It wasn't, you know, standing out in the middle of that ink blended, you know, area. So I decided to go over it with uh, Versifying Black Onyx ink and then I just put some clear embossing powder over it and then heat set it and that made it shiny and way more bold and I love it. It stands out off of that snowy background. Awesome. So here is a final look at my card. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be back real soon with more. Thanks for watching.